kids, this is English Tree Storytelling. This is the story about the crow and the pitcher. Before we start the story, look the picture. This is a crow. Can you point its beak? That's right, this is a beak. A beak is a part of the bird wherein they use it for catching food. How about this one? Yes, this is a pitcher. What can you say about the neck of the pitcher? Its neck is narrow, meaning it is less wide. Now, kids, what do you do when you feel thirsty? I am thirsty. If we are thirsty, we are looking for water. So, let's find out about the story of the crow and the pitcher. What did the crow do when he was thirsty? On a hot summer day, a thirsty crow looked for water to drink. It's hot, I am thirsty, said the crow. I need to find water. The crow flew from one place to another looking for water to drink. He finally found a pitcher near a well, but there was only little water in the pitcher. He tried to drink from the pitcher, but no matter how much he tried, he could not reach the water. My beak is too big. The pitcher's neck is very narrow. How will I get the water? He thought. Then, an idea came to the crow. He picked up some small stones. He dropped them into the pitcher one by one. One, two, three. Plop, plop, plop. Little by little, the water rose in the pitcher. Four, five, six. Plop, plop, plop. The water rose some more. Soon the crow could reach the water. Now I can drink, said the crow. Ah, it's cool and good. And that was the story about the crow and the pitcher. Let's now have the questions and discussions. Number one. At the beginning of the story, what did the thirsty crow do? What could be your answer? The thirsty crow looked for water to drink. That's right. Number two. Where did he find the water? The answer could be he found a pitcher near a well. Very good. Number three question. Could he drink right away? Why not? What is your answer? No, because there was only little water in the pitcher and the pitcher's neck is narrow. That's the answer. Great. Number four. What do you think the crow felt when he could not drink? The answer is, the thirsty crow is sad. That's right. This time, let us have number five. What did the crow do then? What could be your answer? 
The answer could be, he put some stones in the pitcher. Now, kids, what is the moral lesson in the story? What do you think? The moral lesson in the story, don't give up at the first sign of failure. In fact, never give up. Any obstacle can overcome. Believe in yourself to reach your goal. And that's it kids. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening to our English lesson. I'll see you again. Goodbye and keep safe.